Pulse News on the Go, brought to you by Galaxy A, your camera. The Swain Assistant Campaign Manager of the NPP, Peter McManus, says the party will declare the results of the November polls. Addressing party supporters in the Western region, Mr. Manus said not even the Electoral Commission or the police service can prevent the party from declaring the results. Meanwhile, the Deputy General Secretary of the NDC, Koko Anidohu, says the NPP will not be allowed to declare the results as the Electoral Commission is the only constitutionally mandated body to do so. Lawyers for incumbent member of parliament for the Klote Kole constituency, Ni Ama Ashiti, have filed a suit for a judicial review of the Supreme Court's ruling stopping the hearing of his case at the High Court. According to them, they disagree with the ruling of the five members Supreme Court on the 19th of May 2016, staying proceedings of the High Court in their substantive case. A police constable, Frank Clue, in the Brongahafu Regional Police Command, has been shot dead by armed robbers while on duty. The officer was killed instantly by robbers when he was escorting passengers who were travelling from the region to Kumasi. The Brongahafu Regional Police Bureau ASP Christopher Tiria has told Pulse.com.gh that the police is still gathering more information on how the incident unfolded. Reinstated employees of the Standard Chartered Bank have threatened to head back to court over the failure of the bank to pay salary arrears owed them. The CEO of Standard Chartered Bank, Kweku Bedu Ado, and the HR of Standchart West Africa were asked by the Accra High Court to halt a planned layoff until the dispute over severance package of the employees is resolved. Pulse News on the Go, brought to you by Galaxy A, your camera.